Greetings, I'm Lakesh. Hey, Lakesh. It is good to be here with you today. I think I will be the main speaker. <laughs> there are others that you want to come. But there are some that says, please pass along that we want to give you greetings as well. But there are too many out here for us to ever make it through. So they said, let's combine our efforts and give the best message for today. So I am a blue Pleiadian. Some of you have asked for Pleiadian, so here I am. And, and they asked for many different species. The Fendorians uh, would like to come as well. The Octorians. Um, there are many that have a great contributions to add, but some of them do not want to come right this second because they don't want to just say hello, they want to give messages. So the, the ones that just wanted to say hello have already come. So now that it's time for some meaningful interaction. Absolutely. Now it is time for me to speak about some things that have been happening. And the Reiki that has been happening. This energy of Reiki that is universal in many different ways. It is celebrated and taught and learned in many different ways. But on Earth it's specifically taught in certain ways so that it been, can be handed down so that the principles will not be lost. So that the energy will not be uh, weakened and so that it may come as strongly to the people possible but believe that there is the even greater Reiki to come because beliefs are to be enhanced you will believe greater and therefore your Reiki will be greater the greater you believe in healing the greater the healing will be the more miracles you feel in your heart the greater miracles will present themselves before you and it is not for you to take credit. Let me repeat that. It is not for you to take credit of the miracles. But you are the instrument by which they are given to others. The energy passes through you. Can you take credit for all that energy? I think not. God Although it is not a religion, this Reiki, not in any part of the galaxy or the universe, is it a religion, but it is no activity where the spirit that you believe in comes through. Your perception of great God comes through and shows himself or herself or him and herself together. Yes, there's healing going on even now because some do not feel well. And what time is inappropriate for healing? Hmm, I can't think of one. Is there any questions that you have for me about other things or Reiki itself? because I did not want to go into a galactic understanding of Reiki quite yet, because I know Takur will do that tomorrow, or maybe this afternoon. So, but I will go into understanding that it is a definitely positive and powerful means of healing. Zikrata. Any questions? I know the people here have experienced many things. Could, yes. Yes, we had the uh, Reiki one attunement yesterday. Are you able to pick up on the energy in this group from that attunement? The energy lasts for quite a long time. I think they're going to give you a microphone eventually to speak into. That's what it's called, right? Hey, 
Yes, um, she asked if uh, we could still feel the energy in the room, if I could still feel the energy in the room, if we all could still feel the energy in the room from yesterday's attunements from Reiki 1, I believe it was. Yes. Um, and the answer is yes, because it does not diminish. Healing, the energy may diminish over time, but when it is that powerful, when it is that up front and and it's doing so much work it takes quite a while for that energy to dissipate and so yes i think some of you still are feeling it today and i do feel it in the room and it is a wonderful cleansing feeling it is a even though i am here you see i am one of the few beings that do come in a holographic form so i can feel the things that the body feels other species cannot do that so some of you out there might be confused how can he feel it yeah. no but i can so i'm the perfect one to be asking these questions or answering these questions because i can feel those things I can be a part of this interaction because I am really here in a holographic form. But, and all kinds of sensations are here with me. So therefore, do not, do not uh, doubt that I can actually sense that. What other questions do you have? There is other questions in the room. Uh, question we had during the seminar healing, we had a lot of spirits of our of animals here. Yes. Could you tell us something about maybe message of those animals? Because we have a lot of heads. Yes. Stuffed animals on the walls around. So many actually felt them. Are there some messages from those animals? There absolutely is some Thank messages you. from the animals. Um, what they are talking about here is you cannot see it, but there is many heads of animals mounted around the room and there's some fish and some buffalo and things of that nature that are mounted on around the top of the near the ceiling of the room and at one point during the reiki yesterday they were able to visualize this animal spirits coming into this room this was a healing for those animals they were coming because they were drawn to this healing because there was something in their spirit that needed a healing and the animals were in abundance in spirit here yesterday this is what the message that they're telling me and they could actually be seen and felt by people and so this is why they had returned. They were drawn to the healing energy that Reiki supplied in this area. And it was very strong because there was not just one or two people getting an attunement, but there was many. There was at least 17 or 18 people getting attunements and four or five. How many, how many people giving attunements? There were several. There were four people giving attunements, and so they were feeling all that energy, and they, they were drawn to the healing energy and had to come and get a healing for themselves because the energy will go out to them as well because it is intended not to be just for one person or one thing, but it will move out Remember, Reiki energy heals where it needs to heal. It goes where it needs to go. And it needed to go to the spirit of the animals. Perfect. Yes. Other questions? Is there anyone online, perhaps, that has a question? Can you do that? <coughs> you would just have to unmute yourself. Is there anyone there? All right. I think Christine so we'll has a question out here in the room, oh, and then there is one online after this. Greetings, <laughs> and thank you for speaking to us, Eva. I have a, a question about the possibility of seeing any of you 
you mentioned that you have holographic abilities you could show yourself to us. We obviously were not ready the first night when we arrived, but I think by now we are so drowning with love that basically we might be ready. And is there any hope for it? There is hope for it. She asked if there's any hope for uh, the group to see a holographic image of an alien here and there is some hope for that it is all about your belief systems and uh, about the lack of fear the acceptance of aliens the acceptance of another spirit another kind of uh, face that is not usually welcome in many places but this is about each and every one of you as an individual you must all be in alignment you must understand it is not for one person if one person wants to see an alien or a spirit or whatever it must be a united community effort it must be agreed by everyone that this won't be frightening or this won't be something that is negative or it, it must be something that you all desire in very much the like a like kind of way otherwise it cannot happen do you understand that it cannot happen because they will not put themselves in a place where they will not be accepted, even if there's one. Thank you for that. Yes, they they are you. They are here to respect you, and if you are all in agreement, then yes, they may appear. But if there's one that cannot handle it, that is present, then it should not happen. And there are many here who are not ready, so we understand. There, I do not know the answer to that for sure. She said there are many here that may not be ready. And I'm not sure of that, or I do not know that for sure. But all that I do know is when they do the scan of the room, when, they, when the time comes, if they call on this particular kind of thing, uh, they would have to scan the room and see who, who is feeling what and how and et cetera, because they, they know how these things will work. Yes, is there a question? Online. Online question. I saw something appear there, but I'm not sure Omron. if there. You wanted to ask. Was question. it Omron? Yes. Was there a question? I was going to ask Christine, Christine, Christine had a question. Had a question. But I have but a question myself. myself now. Um, it's about crystals. I know that by the use of crystals and water, you can age less and if you know how to use it i don't know if anyone have received this knowledge or teaching but if you can is it true i, I mean do you practice this like do you have you used the crystals and the the power of the water to to there's, resume your age and become like a teenager again let me put something into perspective for you you are a human being at this time and water and crystals will work in a way for you that it would not work for other species because other species have other elements and other things that work for them better than waters and crystals however for healing crystals are very very popular and very powerful can you mention some that are very how powerful here on earth well they all are but I would go for the quartz variety as it amplifies energy, put your intent into it, what you want to use it for, and they can and will work for you. Will it be that you are rejuvenated, rejuvenated forever? I would not count on it because we are here to start the circle of life and to die, and that is how it is for maybe forever maybe it can be changed but at the moment there is a certain vanity in wanting to stay young yes and you will not learn the what the age can bring if you want to stay young forever i'm sure it can help you to rejuvenate somewhat improve your health yes but there is a certain ego and vanity in what you have intended 
But yes. look into crystals, email me if you like. Um, it definitely will make a difference. Crystals quartz will amplify. There are so many stones, we call the mineral gemstones. They have an inbuilt ability. And you have to then kind of study what is it, what will help you, what is it your body needs? Which stone is it your body needs? Will it help? Yes. Rejuvenate you? Well, if the good Lord wants it, it will happen too. Let me add to that a little bit, can I? Yes, indeed. For humans, the also belief systems come into it as well. So believe, and the water is something that is very much a part of the human body. And so crystals with water will help human beings a great deal if you know how to use it. And I know that you do. I'm sensing that you have this information already and that you already are using it and you are already feeling some benefit from it. So therefore, yes, pass that on if you wish. That can be a teaching modality. Remember, it will not work for everyone on your planet. And the reason why is because some do not believe that there is energy in crystals, and some do not believe that there is energy in pretty much anything. So you must understand that these things will work for you to a certain extent and in a very positive way with your belief systems. Yes. I would say if you're interested, start studying it. Give me an email, I'll give you some contact details, some books I think you might read, etc. And then we we'll see where we go. Or just come to Rochester and I'll teach you. That is possible too. I, I teach crystal level, healing level one and level two. And also just sort of an introduction to crystals. And I wish I could give a certain amount to you people, and I will try. I brought just a few stones. So. Excellent. Okay. I am going to continue now. If there is another question, I think that one was sufficiently answered. Continue. I have a, I have a question. What is, what is uh, wonderful and special about this place that we are here? Yeah. It is something uh, what amazing about this place, original, spiritual, adventurous, what do well, you like to know? The thing is about this place, well, first of all, you have created a vortex here in this room. Are you aware of that? Yes. You have created a vortex here, and so that makes it special. But above and beyond that, there is other vortexes in the area. There is one that can be very much felt down by the water. Yes. Um, the water here is, does, it looks sort of murky in things, but actually it's very special. It has a great amount of energy in it. And you will find that the, uh, the, the particular frogs and fish and animals that live in it have grown to extraordinary sizes uh, for their species here because the, they're actually a little larger than normal. So that's all right. But so if you don't like really large snakes, then I don't think you should go down there. But um, anyway, they're just around the water though. But anyway, uh, there are some great vortexes in this area, but the greatest one is in the water that is down there. And the other greatest one is the one you created yesterday here. Okay. Very well. What other questions are there? I thought there was another. Oh, it's... Hi. Hello. I'm so happy to be here to presently see you. Um, Thank you. And all that came, but my question is: since uh, this, to go back on the on the piece we're talking about, that having somebody come in to be seen, can we start off gradually, like maybe seeing a Palladian, maybe seeing? Uh, uh, well, I. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm then, not sure which species would be the least fearful for you, except for those that look so human that they wouldn't frighten you at all, but they're uh, also among you. So there are human, alien-born humans that look uh, very human. Takar would be nice to come. Uh, Takar looks like a big 
well, she is actually quite large. That's she good. may be a little bit frightening. So, but some people would find her, oh, she's a big kitty cat. But the other ones would say, oh my God, a tiger. So. Yeah, just gradual because, you know, not for the shock purpose, but more so for the love purpose behind it. And as that happens, then uh, uh, we the communication will. between uh, the visualization could be helpful too. So it makes it easier to attune to you as you attune to us. I understand. We will do what we can to make it as gentle on you as possible. Thank you. But it will not be our species first. We are not, we would not be as, uh, although we, we, we are depicted as very funny looking, we are really not that funny looking, but the, it is a fairly good depiction as far as body shape and things of that nature. Lovely. Could I mention something here? You have been attuned to Reiki yesterday, and with it, your intuition will grow, open up more, and with that, you can have the wish to put out what it is you might like to have with this gift. If it is to see aliens, it can become more possible indeed. But you just have to maybe wait and let it develop. Your will shall not be done immediately, but it could be done over the next few days, weeks, months, or even years. Thank it will be stronger than it would be if it hadn't had Reiki. So patience is one lesson to learn. Yes. If energy interaction is important when it comes to the next dimensions, if you understand what I am saying. So Reiki is an energy healing uh, format, and it does lead to other things. So it can lead to opening up places in the brain that were once closed, or even opening the third eye a little bit more, because what is happening is you're bringing in information about energy you're bringing in information about healing modalities you're bringing in information that is necessary for perhaps your mission if you are going to be if healing is part of your mission or if your mission is healing also that uh, this energy flows through you as you're healing others so it is going to be a part of a regular on a regular basis something that you're going to be experiencing. So as this energy moves through, now you're not supposed to trap it or capture it, but as it moves through you, it awakens other parts of the brain that are have been well closed for centuries. You're starting to feel empathy. You're starting to be intuitive. You're starting to have psychic energies. You're starting to, your healing modalities are getting greater. Remember, this species has been in an electromagnetic field for millions of years, or however long this species has been here. I don't know the exact date. I should know. I took intergalactic history, but I sort of forgot that. But um, the thing is, you have been in this electromagnetic field, and that is part of your healing. It's become part of you. You cannot live in something and move in it and uh, evolve in it without it becoming sort of part of you. So this energy that you live in all around you is part of your healing modality. That's why everyone on your planet has it and can use it in different degrees. Now, there are other energies now coming into view to us on your planet. There are microwave energies, there are cellular phone energies and waves and all kinds of uh, lights and different kinds of electro uh, electronic energies that are not magnetic necessarily. So you're going to integrate them into your next step also. And do you think it do you think that telepathy has something to do with integrating other energies into your system? It certainly might have. Can I? Oh, I was just going to mention something. Um, at the time of the Atlantis and Lemurians, they were very psychic. If they went for a trip, they would send their mind forward to see what they need to take. And they were covered, you know, take water, take food, because you may not find it. We have got the ability to be more than we are using, as everybody will know by now. 
when you're born, you are being taught the human code. Um, and everything is kind of more ego-centered because it is because it is important. But when you may have heard you might have had lives before and maybe have lives after, you have a certain amount of information or a lot of information that actually um, comes from then and you have it inside you. You just need to be able to bring it out. The more you let go of your ego and just come from your heart, question everything from your heart, if you have to question it, and things will open for you and knowledge comes out and it comes together and you know things you don't know where it came from. And it doesn't matter. Use it. It's a gift. Yes. And we are to come from our heart. It is, it is true that each one of you has your own personal Akashic record of all your lives and this one as well. Because every second of your lives, past and present and future, if you want to talk about the Chikani and all that, um, if all of your lives are here behind your chakras, all of your lives are here for this life in your subconscious. So you have your own walking Akashic record of everything you've ever done in every life and every second of your, this life as well. Because it's all there recorded. Now, of course, the, Akash, the real Akashic record out there has everything in it of all those lives as well. But you don't have to go to it to recall your own Akashic record. And that is why it's with you, so that you don't have to uh, go out and sort of bother them to get to your own information. You, can, you have access to that when you realize how to get access to that. The pendulum can be a very good tool to get you to answers. Because the pendulum, it comes from your brain, the knowledge that is in you, it comes through little nerve endings into your fingertips, and the answers come through the pendulum. And with Thank Reiki, you. it is a wonderful tool to use for maybe assessing a person's chakra points. Because when you're in the beginning, you may not feel the energy the same as you're scanning. So the pendulum can give you the answers. So if you remind me, I'll bring out the pendulum when we're healing, and I'll show you how to do that. But you may have to remind me. Okay. There are things that have been around for centuries on your and, planet and that, can, that can help you with your drawing out of psychic energy and the use of all the, uh, the, the tool, the psychic tools that may not be readily available through the actual opening of the mind. But the mind can give you indications of many things that are going on in the world and in your body and in the room and many, many things. Yeah. So it is, there are many tools for you to use. And many of you out there, I sense that all of you are aware of at least a few of these tools, but there are many more, even more available to you. Is there any more questions? Hi. I see Hi. Oh, yes. Uh, Christine, uh, had Christine had one. Had one. Yes. Um, she uh, wanted to know she wanted um, the healing energy from the Eli Eliyaha doesn't seem to be working. And she's saying, my arthritis is getting worse and my sugar levels have increased. Do you know why? It could be a matter of the belief system, but it could be a matter that uh, there is some kind of interference or it may be that God does not want that to be healed right now for a particular reason. You see, there are, there are some things that must happen for lessons to be learned. There are some things that must continue for at least a little while before they are taken care of to let you experience them so that you may be able to help someone else with a similar or same experience. Now, do not be too concerned about that because I believe that uh, the energy that they give is very useful. The El Yaha is very useful and have helped many, many people. But there are times when it's just not, not to be used, or at least it's not going to work at a particular time if God doesn't want it to. 
that's the period. That's why we pray, thy will be done, and not my will be done. <laughs> thy will be done. So, but anyway, no, don't worry about it. It was Christine, right? Yes. Don't worry about it, Christine, because I think that there is a lesson there, and there will be some time uh, in the future where that will be relieved. There is another question. Hi, Keshi. It's your friend, Stephanie. Hi. Ah, yes, she calls me Keshi, my nickname. <laughs> Good to see you again. Yes. You had mentioned the Akashic Records yes. and the past lives being behind the chakras. Yes. I, I, I understand what, what's been said about that. I don't understand how that works, but my question is, will Reiki um, help you access that information behind the chakras? I, it I don't can. understand how that works. Uh, the thing is, um, a lot of times people don't believe that they can read their own chakras. And it is a matter of the belief system that you can't access them because they're just not to be viewed. It's like a book that's been sealed forever and you can't open it. But that's not necessarily true. The energies that are about, if it is necessary or if it is, would be helpful to you to access some past life for a particular reason and you must know it before you access it actually um at least some people must know it but um it can be accessed with your belief system or with the help of someone else that can do readings of that nature now with energies like reiki it does help open up other places in the brain and you may be able to do it within your meditations to start opening up some of those past lives with intention and with meditation working together, you might be able to get a glimpse of some of these things that you may need to know for this life. Now, sometimes there are uh, infirmities or diseases or pains that have come from past life existences because of things that have happened beforehand and that keeps going on because a it's not been forgiven by yourself or by others something that is necessary for you to experience for lessons coming down that you did not learn in the past life so that it, it reoccurs so you may learn it in this life or there are several different reasons why you may be experiencing things from past lives but if you want to access that and find out what it was uh, and forgive it perhaps forgiving something there are some people that have, you know they can't breathe right or something of that because they were uh they had some horrible action happen to them in the past i won't go into what they would be but um but they are experiencing that past life of, of infirmity over and over again because it's not been forgiven. So you can witness that past life, forgive it, and let it heal or cure or be cured. Or it or you may have not forgiven someone else in a past life. Or there may be things of that nature. Can I maybe say something? Um, one thing is now that you have Reiki, write down as many things, life experiences you had, which kind of were upsetting. Write on a piece of paper. It said 21 days because we are saying it takes 21 days to align your system after not June. <clears throat> so write down, if you can, 10, 21 things that you feel was some obstacle in your life. Somebody did to you, you did to somebody. If you cannot reach those people, doesn't matter. Write it down. Um, I have done so and so to such and such a person and I'm sorry about it. You don't have to write it just inside you. I'm sorry about it. I'm asking for forgiveness and I am choosing to forgive myself. And then basically it's like cut. You then roll up that piece of paper. You take it, crumble it up, burn it and see the smoke up and with it that issue. Whatever comes up again and again, you maybe have to redo, rewrite 
shortly we think don't go too deep into it be careful you don't burn a house or anything down as you do this <laughs> yes but it makes a difference it's cutting from it and can i just mention one more thing the tool to much of you want to know to learn it comes through meditation we ask but we don't give it time to be given to us so meditation if you can learn to meditate by just sitting you could have a very quiet music in the background but just train yourself to be still see a candle flickering if your mind goes what am i eat tonight just like back to this candle back to this candle and the more you do it the more it will work and you will wake up with some answer you didn't have before it's not necessarily the answer you were seeking but maybe it's not important right now maybe another answer is more important but answers are given to you and former life experiences are given to you i had a life here in this area as an indian and it was quite an involved story we don't have time just now maybe sometime if we do i could tell you but i used to be extremely scared of snakes and horses and suddenly a whole story came out why and then i don't like snakes very much as such but i should not faint when i see one <laughs> are you I'm sure accepting. you were to be Liadian at one time i don't know i think I maybe to... i'd have to look into her that yes okay yeah. but yes very good information from this young lady yes <laughs> Yes. One more follow-up question, if I may. Of course. It has to do with um, healing modalities that you might possibly use at the dimension you're at, if they are indeed necessary. And if uh, sound, frequency, color yes. are those. Um, what oh, absolutely. So much. Uh, the Hathors are here, and they're very much into toning. And they use their toning and their musical sensibilities for medical reasons. And they use it for healing. Everything that is in this universe can be used for different reasons than what you might use it for. And it can be used for positive or negative reasons. And music and color and energies, all these things can be used for healing. Aromas. A massage many 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 things can be used for healing and the more understanding of healing that you have the greater healer you will be because you will start to use more of these such as this young lady's using crystals she's using crystals and Reiki at the same time because they work well together they work well together and she could probably use uh, she'll probably also uses color for the chakras if she does any chakra work she uses colors to and help sound. and sound oh yes whenever they're doing uh your modalities usually there's some kind of uh soft music playing or something that helps calm the spirit calm the uh, the thought processes and that helps with the uh the trust factors and it helps with being able to accept the energy a little better when you're around certain things. Believe it or not, a blanket, a pillow, or something under the knees can help with healing because comfort helps with healing. You must be comfortable to be able to be healed in many ways. If you are uncomfortable, how are you going to accept the energy in a proper way so therefore you must be comfortable you must be at ease because when you're at ease that's when medications work the best that's when energies work the best that's when all the all healing modalities work best when you're relaxed and in a comfortable state if you are agitated if you are uncomfortable if you are angry if you have all these negative things happening, it is very hard for any healing to happen. Do you agree with that? Very much so. Very good. If I could just mention something which maybe you don't all didn't hear. Your body has got organs and each part of each organ, each part has got its own frequency. 
And if that comes out of balance, you will start feeling unwell, sickness can set in. So one way of putting it right could be by putting the frequencies back. The sound, for example, has a frequency. Your octave has, your, your scale has a frequency, C, D, E, etc. Fitting it totally with your chakras. We've got tuning forks, which uh, it's a connection with sounds that were lost because the church had taken them over and then they were lacking in our um, environment. And we have become, it said, more warmongering because of it. And we choose tuning forks. Hemisync has a lot of tapes or CDs which are specific for cancer, that type of cancer, relaxation, etc. Oh, the subliminal things. Lots and lots of stuff out there. Oh, I Again, understand. Yes. Email me. I can maybe send you some information by email that you could look up further then. Well, I would have never thought to mention subliminal information because I wasn't sure that that was highly used in this culture, civilization on, on planet Earth. But there is some... Uh, there is uh, subliminal information that can be used for healing. And so that is a very good thing to bring up. Very much so, yes. Uh -huh. It's been lacking and now bring it back. Yes, it, and they put the subliminal information into the music that tells you to be calm, to heal, to your energy fields to be uh, uh, straightened out and put back in order and things of that nature. So, yes. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah, can I just mention one thing I do use for people that have cancer. There is a cancer pack from Hemisync. It is a CD which, if you have radiation or chemo, helps you to come back and recover. Um, one for sleeping and one for meditating. And together, it really can make a difference to people's lives because they haven't got much to do quite often to hear it again and again, or come home from your chemo and put on that relaxation table, listen to those sounds, makes a difference. The people that have been healed, and I think it's a combination of Reiki and the extras. So I would say there is much for you to learn, but we'll get there. Excellent. Thank you. Just one last thing. I had a gift of endearment for you. Yes. Ah, thank you. I believe that is that is a, a very positive gift. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And now I will, if there's someone else that wants to speak, perhaps I should let them through unless there's more questions about this. But I think that we have spoken of quite a bit about it. And it, I think there is a great deal of understanding at this point. Are there more questions about Reiki? Galact Let me say something about galactic Reiki before I leave. Um, there is a Reiki in the galaxy. Remember, humans have a certain uh, Reiki because it fits this dimension. It fits this, uh, uh, what is it? Planet? Well, it fits the planet, but it fits this energy. The energy flows with this kind of uh, energy modality. So there is galactic Reiki. There is some that will fit into the human realm, and that's what you will be taught later. But what I wanted to say, there's many, many kinds of Reiki out in the galaxy, and it's not called Reiki, of course, because that would that is a word from your cultures. But it is used on every different planet that there is. But it is not necessarily anywhere near the same as yours because some are silicon-based. You are a carbon-based being. Some are silicon-based. Some are uh, hydrogen-based beings. There are other beings that they have many different origins. And so, they have many different modalities. But let me tell you one that is always, seems to be effective in almost every single culture and planet, and that is the Chokure spiral kind of energy. Because spirals create the vortexes, 
And the vortexes are healthy to almost every species. And so when you're using your spirals, you're getting a lot of healing because they're building a positive motion into the body or into the spirit or into the emotions. And this is a positive thing for many species. And so you will be learning about spirals this afternoon. So great, like back and down and over and over. Yes. Well, I didn't, I wasn't actually making it. <laughs> I was it's very much ugly and ugly. Yes, but the spirals go both ways in the universe. So, so you know, it, it, I wasn't really given an, an, an example. I was just saying spirals in general. So um, it is that the spiral of the chokure does go a different direction than my hand was moving, but that is all right. There is a reason for it to move that way on this planet. So I just wanted to give you a slight introduction to what to occur, we'll be talking about later, because it is very important that you find these actions and understand that they are universal, some of them. Anything else? No. Can maybe mention something about the symbols? I cannot give you the symbols in lesson one, but Reiki 2 has symbols, which is increasing the energy, directing the energy for a specific purpose. You find them online. It will not work for you unless you're attuned to it. The problem by being too keen and going online, checking it out is you will not know how to draw it. You have to draw it in the way it was intended to create, the energy it was intended to create. If you do it in any different fashion, you may not create the right energy. It is a kind of, it is a picture. You can't, let's say a box. You may draw a box a certain fashion, but that Reiki symbol, that box you draw in a specific fashion, or it will not achieve what you are meant to achieve by it. So be patient. Maybe it is the lesson to learn to be patient. And you can come forward to Reiki to as soon as you really would like because you already are advanced. Normally it is like wait a few weeks, wait maybe a 21 days to, to have it. But patience is a wonderful thing and some people are better off for learning it. <laughs> What will to no? No, your energy work. <laughs> you could have fooled me. <laughs> ah, very, very good. <laughs> All right. I do not know what time it is or how much time you have left. We have about the 30 minutes. Very good. Then I will let someone else come in and talk for 30 minutes. It was wonderful to be here with you, and I hope that uh, this kind of forum that we set up that i set up with this young lady actually has been helpful to you i am the age i am <laughs> excellent young quite a few times <laughs> excellent i will talk to you all at another time in in this reality thank you Lakesh. Blessings. blessings to you Bye, <laughs> 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 <laughs>